So let's start to continue on and how are we going to create a full width of the canvas? And this is part two of the Canvas API JavaScript tutorial. So I want to have a full width here, but as I indicated, if we just do here a width of 100% and then a height of 100%, if I save this, refresh, you can see you now, it's not really working. And maybe what we could do here, a, a position of absolute, absolute all right save that there we are so this works but also not because look at our square here if you remember we only have here a 20 pixel square but for some reason now it has become far larger than expected and if i would change this you can see here if i open up the console log it starts to become not anymore a square but a rectangle so it has a problem here so what i want to do now is to make sure that this is really correct so using CSS is not the way we can work with this. And the reason why is because the canvas also has a JavaScript feature where it grabs the width. And it is basically counteracting with each other. So what I want to do here, instead of doing this, we're going to do the following. We're going to put it here and enter. And then we're going to say here, we're going to, and this is the reason why we have these separated. We want to now, instead of drawing on the CTX, we want to just grab the canvas itself, it's only the canvas, and then reassign the width of this. So if I open up my developer tab, and what I want to do here just for, for it to show you is to do a console log, say canvas, save that, refresh. We have this canvas here, and uh, well, let's see if we can open up anything here. Well, I guess it doesn't work, all right. So what we could do here, maybe in here as well, save that. Then we get everything else. So what I want to do here, because now we are in the canvas, you can see here what canvas we're targeting. The canvas with the canvas ID name of canvas. And then you can see here eventually, if we're going to scroll down, we're going to look for the width here. Uh, let's select on that, or maybe here on the canvas, that should be the one. We're going to look for width somewhere here at the bottom. Uh, we have to, not this, but I need to click here on triple, and you can see here, once you have the triple dots, we open up, and you can see width is 300. So this here controls the width here, and that's why the, the shape or the canvas will be weirdly shaped. And same with the height, if you scroll up, you will see here somewhere height as well. So what we need to do is we need to overwrite basically the JavaScript feature instead of using CSS, because CSS and JavaScript together is counteracting of each other and creates the problem. So you can see here height 150. So what I want to do here, instead of this, I want to start to work on the window inner width. And basically what I'm going to control here now is I'm going to say here, I want to grab this window size here, which is the inner width. And the inner width would indicate just this part of the browser. And you have also window outer width, which would be including from left to right, the entire browser screen. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to say here, the canvas, and this canvas width, which we have here, will be now reassigned with a new shape or new size. What we call that is the window down inner width. And with this, we can also do here the canvas dot height, and we reassign that as well. And then we say here, window, or let me just put in here window inner height save this refresh and now you can see we have this one very nicely done all right so this works very nicely and then what i want to do here i'm going to cut out this first move that down here so it will draw that afterwards because what's happening and this is very important in canvas when you draw something and after you adjust something it will impact and might delete it or refresh it so now, if I refresh this and move this, so basically I want to have first the width controlled and the height, draw the height and width correctly, and afterwards draw the shape. At that moment, the shape here becomes again a 20 by 20 pixels, exactly as expected. So now we have this, and now it's probably time to start working on drawing shapes.